Alright, hi everybody. Okay. At around 10 o'clock tonight, I watched episode 9 of Pedro, season 2. Oh. My. God. Alright. I'm, I'm convinced the finale is going to be so intense that... Oh, man. Now, pretty much what had transpired in this episode, because there's a lot of stuff that happens in this episode that goes like, yo, what is going on? Like, you don't even know what the fuck's going on here. And I had a conversation with Adam and Rick about it. He explained me a few things. I was in the live stream with Min. And Rick was there, he was like, telling me about Finn Dreadful, and specifically, what was really going on with Lily. And when he explained it to me, I was like, oh, right, right. So, this brain people. But, this episode was just bonkers. Um, I, I kind of missed the first few minutes, but I really didn't. Um, the guy who Ethan attacked comes in and tries to kill them. And, surprisingly enough, he doesn't kill him. Ethan doesn't kill this guy. Um, Vanessa does. That threw me off. I was like, yo, she killed him. She slashed him in the neck and the back and it just stabbed him, stabbed him, stabbed him, stabbed him. It was, it was, it was pretty fucking insane. Now, that happened. They buried him. And then basically Dr. Frankenstein goes to him, to them, to bring him back. So we'll, we'll talk about that. The plot line one plot line actually merges. Yeah, literally, it merges. Because what's happening right now, from this episode, I can tell you right now, there are at least, there's at least one character that's fucked. One character is fucked, and another one is just like going crazy. But basically, they take them, and they, what was funny about this scene, interesting about this scene, was... They go to the house, okay, and then there's the investigator. Oh, this guy will not stop. He he's determined. And you know what? Here's the thing about this guy. He's over his head. I'm sorry. He's over his head. He's over his fucking head. Because I understand he's after Ethan. That's that's fine and dandy. But if he thinks he's going to just walks in and arrest the witches and get himself about that shit? Boy, you better, you better back off. Big time. Big time. So, he has a conversation with Ethan, and Ethan talks to him, and basically, he tells Ethan, he knows his true identity, that his name is Lawrence, um, I forgot the last name. Um, and there was a specific last name he said, but the middle name was Lawrence, and he knew it was his true identity, he was from Mexico, blah, 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 and it, it was, it was exposed, he was exposed pretty much. and, you know, he's basically telling him that's not going to hold up at a court of law, you know, and so on and so forth, and the thing about this guy is, he says Shadow Limb. Like, in other words, um, the supernatural. He brings that up. Well, Ethan kind of brings it up. And I'm guessing that, that's to suggest that that's what they are. And this plot line with the detective, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I really don't. Not in the final episode. I don't think that's really... It's not... Where it let off, it's something that might occur next season, but I don't think it's going to occur in the final episode. So basically, Detective has a little thing, and he walks away, and saying, you know, we'll always be watching you. So, but does it end there with you? <laughs> Yo! One of the witches manages to get inside the house. Now, before that, we have, he has a little conversation with, um, we just get the characters' names as they get the names, but he get he 
before the witch shows up, he has a conversation with, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. The guy who is, um, uh, let me get this. I'm bad with names. I'm, I apologize. Um, cast. Yeah, uh, same bean. He has a conversation with same bean and, you know, Chandler pretty much tells, Ethan just tells him that he's like one of his best friends. He considered him a, a really good friend. And that was kind of a, an interesting moment. And also, Sabine told him that he was a slave trader. And the marks on his face, that was punishment because of him being a slave trader. Yeah. That, that, that. Just like, whoa. So, and I have a little conversation about that, and he tells him about the full moon and everything. He's going to have to help him again. And basically, before we have the scene with the witch, they have a meeting. And basically, what is the story is Vanessa wants to go to the castle of the witch's act. Eveline is. That's ah, not a good idea. <laughs> But she wants to go there to save Malcolm. But after that, we have the scene with the witch. Now, this was weird. Oh, shit, this was weird. She kisses him and shit and basically says that, you know, he should go with her and that she's going to be his ally. And he'll join forces with Lucifer. I'm like, whoa! The way she said this, it sounded some like berserk shit. I'm not joking around. It really did. Like, the wolf god or something. I'm like, he's a werewolf. Like, what do you. It's just like, it was bugging out with this shit. But she says a little piece. Um, he said he was going to shoot her. And she's like, saying, shooting me will change nothing. And basically, she goes off her way. Now, that happened. Now, the whole... Let me drop this part. I don't want to talk about it. I'll talk about this later in this review. I'll get into it deeper, but let's talk about... Lily and Dorian. And the creature! Yo, those three. I don't know what's going to happen. Creature? He's fucked. Big time. He's big time fucked. But let's talk about Lily. Lily's with Dory, and she's doing the same shit she did with that other guy. But here's the thing. Dorian Gray is, drumroll please, <laughs> immortal. He can't die. So, she has her way with it, but she's choking him and shit. And, like, she realizes she can't, he can't die. And like she wants his his all his secrets to be revealed to him, and she's gonna reveal her secrets to him. So she bite, bites his ear off. I'm like, oh my god! And then he basically tells him, "Go heal yourself." So he goes into the room. I'm guessing the room he was in when he killed that one dude last week. I still can't believe he did that. I bet. I'm guessing what happens is he looks into the picture, the painting, and his wounds are healed. Basically, I don't know too. I don't know too much about Dorian Gray. The only thing I know about Dorian Gray was, um, you know, that he, uh, uh, you know, he's immortal and he has the picture and and what have you. So she has a little way with him and saying that, oh, my immortal. I'm like Jesus. She's with everybody. So I don't know what her story is now, because now the creature, and speaking of the creature, he gets, oh, he gets played. He gets played, man. Rick, yo, the creature just got fucked. So basically you have Lily and her plot line now, with Dorian Gray. I guess they're going to do, do crazy ass shit. And then we have the creature. He gets fooled by a blind woman. Think about that. 
He takes the blind woman to the, the where the cages are, which I guess they're going to put stuff people in there or creatures in there. And he tells her about, you know, what's in, what's in there. She, she doesn't know what's in there. And he says, oh, it's a poetry. It's a book. Let me get it for you. He goes into the cage. She locks the door. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He got trapped by a blind woman. And then the guy shows up, the husband and the wife. And he's basically saying, oh, you're not going anywhere. You're going to be our new attraction. And don't worry, you'll, you'll have company. For freaks. And I'm like, yo. Fuck that blind bitch. That's what I have to say. Fuck that blind bitch. I hope, I hope the creature breaks out and burns her eyes out. She can't, she can't see, so who, she doesn't need them. What a bitch. So he gets trapped there. Lily and Dorian are now going to do some crazy ass shit. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, and we have the, the continuation of what was going on. And basically what happens is, after Mal, uh, Ethan's little stare, the witch, he finds out from Sabine, Vanessa running away. She intends to go rescue Malcolm herself. Not really a good idea. But she goes, and they follow, and Eveline encounters Vanessa as she's in the castle. And, um, basically, what occurs, this is one scene, the witch that went to see Ethan, she tells Vanessa that she kissed Ethan, and she, and she kisses her little lips, I'm like, yo, dirty ass bitch. Um, so basically, Eveline takes her to the inner sanctum, where she performed those doll things. It's crazy. Um, and pretty much takes her in there, and, you know, tells her a, a few tidbits about, you know, um, the master, and she also says that it's her master too, which kind of confuses me there. Um, and we also have them going in there, this threw me off. The same time Malcolm, because they, they split up. Lelai, Le, Le, Lai, that guy Lai, the you know, old guy. And Dr. Frankenstein encounter Malcolm while Ethan and Sabine, they get trapped. Ethan, yeah, let's get into that later. But what happens is he gets trapped, Dr. Frankenstein, by one of the witches. And he's in the room with Malcolm. And he says, Mal Sir Malcolm, it's me, it's me, it's Dr. Frankenstein. And at that same time, out of the blue, Malcolm's having his his episode, his illusion with his family. Dr. Frankenstein sees an illusion of the creature, Lily, and that other guy he made. And I'm like, holy shit, this is going crazy, too crazy for work. Meanwhile, Ethan, with Sabine, Ethan tries to say he's going to kill himself. And, he said, and they, Sabine says, "This is this was given. This was a gift from God, and you know, I, I'm human and I can't do anything about it." But you're not. And what ends up happening? Ethan turns into a werewolf, and he bites Sabine. That's where the episode ends. I have no words. Now. Where this takes us for next week is anybody's guess, but um, The preview showed a lot of crazy images that just like, woo hoo went way, way over my head. Uh, we see a burning uh, pentagram. Um, apparently, Vanessa overpowers, I think, um, Aveline, the, you know, the main, you know. That's what it seemed like to me. And it seems to see Ethan. He's got blood on his face. Was whatever. Uh, we also see Dorian. And he's got blood on himself too. This, this final episode. Is going to blow my fucking mind. I, and. For this episode. Obviously. A lot of interesting tidbits. A lot of interesting plot points. Um, 
I'm gonna go low on this, four and a half out of five. It was just way too confusing for me to comprehend. I think that's why. But next week, hopefully, that 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 stretch puts it into perspective. But I, I think the creature is fucked. Uh, Lily and Dorian, they're having a little rendezvous, and we've got what's going on here. Now, I think what might transpire is this. They're going to kill Eveline. Vanessa and Ethan are going to escape. Possibly with Malcolm and Dr. Frankenstein. Um, because I don't, I think Lyle, that's his name, Lyle, and, uh, Sabine, and they're done. I think so, because he so long had to fight with Ethan and lies with that bitch. So I think they're gonna escape somehow. At least that's what it seems to be. And I think Vanessa is like going to accept Ethan. Also in this episode, forgot to mention, she sees the doll of her, and the doll calls her a murderer. I was like, yo, too much. But four and a half out of five for this one. Uh, Anime Rick, listen, man. Um, this is for Anime Rick. Listen. Listen. Our schedules are pretty crazy. I work. You work. I understand. But next week. Next week. Next week, I'm going to try to put off. This. Well, actually, you know what? I'll do the review for next week. But I'm going to do an extra thing. At the end of the week. Yes, indeed. End of the week, I want to do a live stream. And I want Rick to be in there. So we can talk about this picture. I'll see. I look forward to that. I'm um, Bonka922. We'll see you guys later. <sighs> oh my god. What the fuck's gonna happen now? It's gonna be so insane. This whole season was insane. Oh, by the way, thanks for everyone who's watching the videos, the reviews of it. It's just insane. Ah, too much. Too much for me. I'll see you guys later.